Let that heart rate come down just a little bit. Couple deep breaths. Sorry, going so slow. Halfway there. Halfway there. I'm afraid of failure. Some people can lose two pounds in a week. I don't even know if I've even lost that. We are gonna repeat this over and over and over. We'll burn it in. This is about as close as we're getting to a nap. I'm murdered. Murdered! What's up guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel and to my series, Extreme Body Makeover. This is my series for me to give back to fans, friends, and some of your favorite influencers, the health, lifestyle, and fitness makeover of their dreams. After the first couple episodes were so well received by you guys, I decided to do something I have never done before. Open casting up to anyone who wanted to apply to be on the show. We received thousands of applications, and today we are choosing our very first subscriber extreme body makeover. Hi. My name is Christy. I live in Los Angeles and I am 26 years old. I have polycystic ovary syndrome, which leads to facial hair, a lot of weight gain, and then also it's very difficult to lose the weight. And I've been dealing with this since I've been 10 years old. It's been a struggle. And I know it's something that like I have to live with for the rest of my life, but I, if I'm going to live with it for the rest of my life, I'd like to know how to at least do, do it in a healthy way. Out of the thousands of submission videos, Christie's really stood out to me. Women's invisible illnesses are often misunderstood and misdiagnosed. Also, workout videos on the internet are rarely inclusive to people suffering from these issues. This episode is about all of us understanding invisible illnesses and learning how to combat them together. Hello! Hi, Christy! What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Surprise! I wanted to call to let you know I would love to invite you to be on Extreme Body Makeover. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't honestly I don't know how to respond. I'm oh. ah. <laughs> I am here to support you for the next seven weeks. Starting oh on Sunday. <laughs> it's okay to cry. <laughs> I'm currently in the parking lot of YouTube celebrity Michelle Carey, who I am absolutely smitten with. I am 100% grateful and I need to take advantage of that because I don't think I'll ever have another opportunity like this. And I think the universe just conspired and was like, we'll give you a chance. Let's do this. I'm so excited. I remember when she was working in this like multimedia production company, which I relate to a lot because I'm also biracial, but have no experience in the creative aspects of my life. So I related to her and looked up to her a lot. So the chance to even be, like, be here right now is a godsend. I am so excited Thank to you. introduce you to FilmFit. This Hi. is Nick, who is going to be training you for the next seven weeks, Hi. and Brandon, Hi. who will be working with you on your nutrition. Yes. I watched your uh, applicant video. Oh, really? It was, <laughs> yeah, it was actually really touching. Oh, thank um, you. I, I have worked with clients who have had PCOS before. There's absolutely hope, so tell me a little bit about you know weight gain, maybe even weight loss that you've experienced through that. So I was diagnosed with PCOS around 10 or 11 years old, and because of that, they gave me like different medications, and that led to either weight gain or weight loss. PCOS is um, an abbreviation for polycystic ovarian syndrome. Typically, there's a lot of cysts on the ovaries. That creates an imbalance in hormones. It can increase testosterone. It can make um, insulin levels rise. Getting those things again under control is really, really important for, you know, just being healthy and being fertile. What is your workout experience, if you had to fencing. guesstimate? I used to do fencing a long time ago in high school, but unfortunately that I cannot do anymore. The kneecaps used to slip, you put on here, mm -hmm. and that led to a broken arm, your right arm. Yes. My weight increased my knees couldn't take it anymore, so they, my knees would slip. And one day it was just so bad that I actually fell. And while catching myself, it like broke in half. While you were fencing? 
It was after oh, fencing. After fencing. Mm -hmm. Even though I healed, my mom was very afraid that I would continue to break. And she was like, no more, we'll just work on diets. My mother is a food nutritionist. She works at a uh, research center where she studies diabetes. So it was also very difficult to be in a household where my mom was very strict with food and her not seeing the results that she wanted and me being her daughter, wanting to be a good daughter, not doing well. I'm afraid of failure. I already feel kind of like the black sheep of the family because I'm not following whatever they want me to do. But I've always been set up with the idea of like, if you're gonna do it, you better do it well. I just wanna be healthy and I wanna be happy in my own skin. Well, that's gonna be our goal to get you there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. If I can take a three, four hour nap of clinical depression, I should be able to have one hour set out to at least just work on my physical like fitness. And tell them who your celebrity inspiration is. Ah, Bruce Lee. I love Bruce Lee. He's like my hero. And I've, I've looked up to him since I was very young. It was just his determination, his love of life. He was never like held back by it. So let's get started. It's my first day. In these episodes, when we come to the first workout, I'm always a little bit nervous because it's a point where you can scare someone away. And we just met and she's just starting this journey. The last thing I wanted to do was her to get nervous and afraid. Every time we come in the gym for a workout, we're gonna do a cardio warm up. After our cardio warm up, we're gonna extend that warm up with some dynamic stretches. Hand down, elbow drop, and reach. Beautiful. All right, so now we're gonna warm up the core a little bit. So you guys can just hang there. I'm gonna grab some mats. Core. <laughs> we're gonna do what's called a single leg V up. This is a good exercise because it's gonna hit the upper portion of the abs and the lower portion of the abs. Last one. Good job. I felt like I didn't do any upper. <laughs> oh no, you definitely did. Flip it over for me. We're gonna do a plank. Six, five, four, three, two, one. Down, relax. So workout number one was really hard. I had a lot of breaks in between almost every single set of workouts. Can I see it real quick? There's moments where I felt like an imposter and I was like, I don't belong here, someone else belongs here. It's a tough thing because you, you need to cause discomfort to do a workout, but you also don't want to go too far. And I feel like Christy acknowledged and accepted the struggle, but moved on with it. And I think she's going to be very successful during the seven weeks. Everyone was so informative and reassuring and supportive, and I've never had a system where I felt this safe. I was surprised at how strong my legs were, but my upper body is just non-existent. But even like bending over, lift my water bottle, it's just like a workout. Christy did a great job today. Um, I was really surprised she was able to get through all the exercises that I had planned and you know really just tried her best to give it her all. I felt muscles I haven't felt in years. Mm -hmm. <laughs> well, oh. and that's exactly why you're feeling like this. Your body's saying, what <laughs> are you doing to me right now? <laughs> I think the biggest challenge for Chrissy is just getting into the routine of exercising. Um, she hasn't been super active for you know quite a period of time, and it's going to take a little bit of time for her body to catch up. First day, really good. Chrissy. Yeah. Boom. Boom. <laughs> Great job. Bruce Lee. I just got my meal plan from Brandon. This is like super thorough. <laughs> PCOS is a tricky thing because, you know, although like I could create a plan and say, oh yeah, this plan's designed to help you lose one to two pounds per week. But what's going on inside doesn't always allow for that to be realized. Christy, thank you so much for having me thank over you for to your place. Here. I am here today to help you clean out and organize your kitchen. Oh my God, please. <laughs> <laughs> so we keep it pretty simple, mm -hmm. like eggs, milk, bread. Where do you get food? Whenever we have a chance, we just go to like the Korean store down the street in the Galleria, um, and we just pick up some quick, like already prepared meals. Oh, <laughs> he's in the fridge. Waffle, you can't have. <laughs> we do have a lot of canned foods too, just cause okay. sometimes we're just so lazy, we don't want to. But we'll probably be avoiding canned stuff. And it's not because those are necessarily bad. I just want to open your mind up and your lifestyle up to what is it like if I cook my own food? Because I think yeah. there's a sense of ownership over it. Grocery shopping, mm -hmm. I think, is simple in concept, but scary in execution oh, for yeah. a lot of people. And everything's just so tempting. To the grocery store. 
adventure time. I was able to go grocery shopping with Michelle and it was really nice just watching her work and do her magic. This is gonna last you like two weeks because you're only having a cup a day. Oh, okay. <laughs> She was able to just look at my meal plan and be like, okay, this is the most efficient, this is the most cost-effective way to do this. She just whizzed right on. Have you ever tried like the one minute oats versus like regular ones? I've never tried that, I don't think. Let's try that, because okay. it's the cheapest option. All right, done. After the whole shopping, we got to come over to my apartment and cook. So we are basically cooking for eight meals right now. Okay. This is meal prep one-on-one. -on -one. We made this delicious like rice vinegar, soy sauce, chicken with some onions and Brussels sprouts. Did you know you could make sweet potato in a microwave? Cause I did not. Oh my God, it smells so good. I'm hungry. There you go. Good. Now you have all of your meals. It's actually a lot easier than I thought. I love the idea of taking ownership and I think it's something that I haven't really done for my own body. So it's a start. So what have you been doing for your cardio days? How are you feeling about <sighs> well, the solo training? It's been pretty good so far, like me doing them, um, the cardio exercise. It's just that it's been raining. Um, so I haven't really been able to do the things I want to do, like walking or hiking. So I've just been doing Dance Dance Revolution for my cardio days since it's raining. Can we do that now? Getting to spend time in Christy's home gave me a really fresh and new perspective on the impact of the work that we do and just getting to know a subscriber more. Failed! I failed! I have to wake up early so I can eat breakfast. I don't usually eat breakfast because I don't want to eat whenever I wake up. Uh, that's gonna change with Christy, I really, really wanted to make sure that insulin was being managed. Because if insulin was managed, then that would help her testosterone levels, which were high, and it would help bring them down. And so for her, it was really about low carb, low GI foods, making sure that we're high in protein and moderate fats. So my boss is amazing and likes to buy snacks for us as usual, and they decided to fill it up today. So many chips, and cookies, and candy, and little mini lemon cakes. Tyler, can I have one? No. Damn it. Everyone is eating snacks from the snack box, so I had to fight the temptation and come here instead and work out. I finished my workout today, and I did weights for the first time ever, and it was awesome. Week two, day one, it was good. I worked out some muscles I didn't even know I had. They're new to me. Today is day five. Oh, week two. And it was the hardest day I've done so far. I'm murdered. Murdered! I think overall, I felt good. Like, I think during the middle weeks, I was starting to feel more mentally challenged than physically challenged. Thank God the sun is out. <laughs> I wanna go hiking. Got to hang out with Michelle more. We went hiking and that was really fun and beautiful. Oh my God, the place is beautiful. Do you feel like you like a lot or feel different? I'm sure physically I have changed. I just don't personally see it. I personally don't see a difference. And I'm like, am I losing anything? Am I gaining muscle, losing fat? Like what's going on here? Because for some people, like they can lose two pounds in a week or two pounds every week. And I'm like, I, I don't even know if I've even lost that. I can't imagine how difficult it is to live with PCOS from a health and fitness perspective, but just from all of the other complications it brings to life. Seeing Christy move so elegantly and so strongly through this process despite that challenge was really, really inspiring to me. Like if you had gone back in time a year ago and said to yourself, in a year you will be doing and you will complete this challenge, would you believe it? No, <laughs> that'd be See? insane. It was a really nice one-on-one -on -one time where I got to like know her a lot better as a person. It was very comforting. And I think in general, Michelle has this like really calm and positive aura where she genuinely wants you to do your best. I remember I had this journal of like YouTubers I want to work with. Michelle was like first or second on the list. The idea that two years later now that I'm here doing this video really was amazing. Overall today was a really good day. And then my roommate texts me, which by the way, my roommate, my boyfriend and I, all work at the same company. It's really nice, except today when, you know, a company decides to lay off people and we're all in the same job. So they got rid of us. And I am trying my best not to cry. 
I'm going to try my best to look at this as an opportunity because within the year and a half that I've been here, I realized that I haven't really done the thing that I came here to do, which is to pursue a creative career. That's the only reason I came here. When Christy told me that she lost her job, I was shocked and devastated. We met as a team and we're like, what can we do? How can we support Christy? What is any way possible for us to help her find a new job? We actually received a call from Wix around the same time and Wix agreed to partner with us on this episode to cover the cost of all of Christie's training and nutrition and also give her a brand new website perfectly tailored to help her find her dream job, which is in entertainment. I was really touched when you reached out to me about what's going on with your job. Having a website in the entertainment industry, which is the industry you want to pursue now, mm -hmm. is so important. Right now, the dream goal is to be like a director. Say it, say it with pride. <laughs> say it. I want to be a director. <laughs> Let's design with the ultimate goal in mind, okay. but also be conscious of the jobs that you will be applying for. So I think we've landed on choosing the architect template mm -hmm. because it's really clean. It looks super easy to use. Let's roll. I want to spend some time on the homepage. I think we need to have your name at lay top. Producer. Director, writer. I want to make like a cool banner thing of your photos. I love that idea, that's cute. I love that, yeah. The pictures add so much personality. Let's fill out your about me because I think that that will provide a lot of clarity for you on what we're trying to achieve with this website. This is just so great that you can have a form on here where people can just directly email you and then also your LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook accounts. And is that the order you want them in? Yeah, that's fine. Okay, this looks so great. And then we added a nice portfolio section for you to claim ownership over the work that you've done mm -hmm. and be specific about your roles on set in the three projects you've done so far. Okay, let's go back to home and check it out in the preview. Oh, wow. Ooh. I really love this because it's a perfect blend of really clean and easy to understand, but also has your personality in it. You're right, I like that a lot. And we can even see it on mobile. That looks really cute. How do you feel? I'm excited. I'm excited for you. <laughs> like, this is really fun. <laughs> I'm gonna apply to all the jobs. <laughs> Thank you for doing this for me. I really appreciate it. Yeah, I'm excited for you to go in the workforce equipped in this capacity. Training with Christy today. She only has two more weeks. Honestly, like these workouts, have been the only things that I've been like really looking forward to during the week. It's like my, it's my anchor. Christy! Do you remember doing this day one? Oh my God. <laughs> Look, you're like laughing and having a conversation <laughs> during one. Progress. Internally and mentally, I feel in a better place. I sleep better. I feel a little bit more energized. Two more, Christy. Killing it. <laughs> I'm so sore. <laughs> so apparently I can do one minute planks now which is insane. And I've been able to keep up with the workouts and it's been fun. Today you blew through the workout and you finished early without taking a break. Not once. Progress. I can't believe it's almost done. I hope I can keep this up forever. Christy hasn't been able to fence in almost over a decade. So we decided to surprise her with a lesson at the Golubitsky Fencing Center in a new emerging version of fencing called lightsaber fencing. I'm glad you brought your brace because we're going fencing right now. <gasps> Are you kidding me? We're doing lightsaber fencing. No way! Haha, <laughs> Mom, we're going fencing again. Take <laughs> <laughs> My name is Kank Snow, and I'm the founder of Lightspeed Saber League, girls' fastest light-based fencing. This is so different. I just remember going up and down the line. So one thing that's different, we're not going to use any kind of point attacks for this, okay? So we're going to do everything as a cut, okay? Lightsaber fencing is the idea of fighting with a lightsaber. We do what's something called light speed saber fencing. So there's people who do choreography, people who do full on combat. Are you good? Okay? Sorry, are you okay? Yeah. yeah okay. <laughs> Here it goes down. And people like us who are trying to create it as a sport. And one, and two. Nice, cool. Let's get you equipped. So uh, this is what we call tag of war. As soon as your attack is done, the runner becomes the attacker and you change places, okay? All right, ready, and fence. Oh. 
Oh. You got it. Fits. Woo! This experience was just really fun because I think it allowed Christy to Ooh. see her health and fitness improvements challenged in a different way. Great! Oh. The fitness journey for these past like six weeks was amazing, but then this is just like the cherry on top. Great, great. Woo! Oh, oh so you're good. So awesome. No, you're awesome. Oh my gosh. Thanks for coming. It was a lot of fun. Despite me not having a job technically and being financially unstable, I feel more active and creative and alive than I've been in weeks, months, almost a year. It's It's been weird. So I just got off the phone with my parents. For these past few weeks, I haven't told them anything about this journey that I've been taking. They were just really happy for me. And I think my mom especially was really overwhelmed by it emotionally. And once I explained the situation to her and how Nick and Brandon were very accommodating, she just was very emotionally overwhelmed. And she was like, I'm so grateful that there are people there that understands and can help you because I don't think I was that person. And we had like a really good conversation on that. But I realized their approval is nice, but I don't need it to just be happy. So we weighed in, we measured, and we got your final results. You started at 200.2. It ended up being 199.8, so you lost half a pound. But the weight on the scale doesn't tell the whole story, right? Right. So on the waist, you dropped a quarter inch, but the hips were good. You dropped about an inch and a half. Whoa. Which is awesome. Her hip measurements went down, her waist measurements went down, which is really encouraging and to me says that the body fat's going down, so things inside are working a little bit more efficiently for her. I'd like to um, continue working with you on nutrition. Um, That'd be great. Free of charge. And what I want to do, and I, I've been thinking about this, oh my God. is um, give you another month to okay. work together. Yeah. Because I think we're starting to really kind of get things normalized. For those people that are out there, you know, working with Christy and with other clients, just little steps are huge. But what's even more huge is being consistent with those little steps. We'd love to keep you going on the workout side of things too with our online workout programming. We can keep this hard work moving. Thanks, yeah. guys. This is a long-term thing. And you've yeah. only started your journey. Thanks, Christy. I feel proud of myself. I put the work in and there's definitely a physical change and I feel healthy. That's a feeling I haven't had in like a long time. Yeah, I also want you to see the difference in yourself. So I have your before and afters poll. Oh my God. <laughs> I want there to be more content out there for people who are struggling with PCOS and for them to know that this type of progress is normal and should be celebrated. This isn't about let's lose 50 pounds in three weeks. We want to promote a realistic and sustainable journey. So this is you six weeks ago. Oh wow. And this is you today. There is a change. Like you can just see in the way like your your chest sits and like your stomach as well. It's my arm looks a little smaller too. Your circumference. Look at your, your back. Oh, whoa. And posture. Posture. My posture's better? Yeah, oh yeah. Yes. Oh my god. It is very different to like look at it. When I say extreme body makeover, it doesn't mean that the before and after is going to be night and day. It means that someone is taking on the challenge of I'm gonna push myself to the limit and see all of the other areas of my life that are positively influenced because of it. I've recently been feeling more connected to my own body in a weird way. To me, that just proves that I have a lot of capability in whatever I want to pursue in the future. So it gives me a little bit more confidence in myself. There's a foundation now, and it's something that I want to keep working on. So I'm proud of myself for that. I hope that you feel a little bit more armored going into a gym and feeling comfortable with your own health moving forward. I do, I really do. And I feel like it's really unfair for, I guess, women in general who have PCOS, or just, I guess, women in general, who are really scared of entering the gym. PCOS does not define you. If you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, please give it a <laughs> thumbs up, comment below with who you wanna see take on the Extreme Body Makeover next. And as always, subscribe so we can keep on going on more adventures together. Also, be sure to follow Christy on all of her social media below. She is amazing, and I'm really excited for you guys to continue following her journey on her social media. No, thank so you. For you. Thank you. And thank you for watching. Have a great day. Bye. Bye.
You knew the outro. Like right <laughs> on command. <laughs> Before we go, I want to give a huge shout out to Caitlin, who is this week's hashtag I am ultra shout out. If you want a chance of being next week's shout out, use hashtag I am ultra and tag me in a post on Instagram telling me a bit about how you have overcome an obstacle recently in your life. That's all for today, and thank you so much for watching. Bye!